Hello, what's going on? So today, if you haven't noticed, I, I'll put the link in the description, but like, dude, I made this. I posted it, and it did pretty well. To be honest, it did, it did, it did well. 100 likes or so, it's cool. But I asked, do you guys want a tutorial for it? And it, it was a outstanding yes. So today, we're just going to work on the text. The text is going to be our main goal for today. And then we'll continue it probably the at background in the next video tomorrow. Today, I am very fucking tired. Like, i suicidal tired. I, I don't even understand. Like, I, I am so tired right now. But, you know what? We're just going to get into it. So this text is made in Cinema 4D. If you could imagine that, it is. But you could make it in Photoshop if you're amazing with perspective and making 3D shapes. But I'm not doing that because I don't like doing that plus it's a lot harder. So just download Cinema 4D. If you, you could probably find a tutorial how to download for free because <clears throat> I did that. Um, so to get into it, we're going to make our... When we get into it, you have a Lightroom. You can look up Lightrooms on YouTube. Just download that. You basically all it is. Let me take it out my camera real quick. It's just it's literally just lights on top of it in like a square, and you have a camera on base. It just in case it's shading. It's 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 nice to have. But back onto our camera, we're gonna go to our Mo Graph. Then we're gonna get Mo Text. I am just retarded. It's right here. Motex. Mograph, Motex. You create it real quick. Next thing we're going to do. So my settings. I'm pretty sure I have it set at 150. Yeah, around 150. For my death. What this does with the death is if I take out this camera. Zoom in real quick. It it makes, literally, it just changes the death of the 3D object. You see? Nothing much. Go back to it. We're going to change this to tutorial, and the font I used in that header was actually called Pixel. If I could find that real quick, cause I'm very bad to it. Yeah, Pixel. You find that, and it's pretty simple, just like so. I'm gonna line this up real quick because, uh, yeah. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change my height to a little bigger but it doesn't really matter what your height's gonna be because what we're gonna do is we're gonna pile, we're gonna line it up and just basically turn it how you want it sideways up down left right wherever you want it and just put it in a nice area you can make it bigger just mess with it make it make it what how you want it so that seems about good. If you want to pre-render it, you just click this. And bam. Now it's rendered. You can see like there's some shadows. It's black down there because how it's rendered. <laughs> because the sun is reaches up here, not under here, and doesn't reach anything down there. So it looks like it's black. If you want to, you could literally... Oops, not... Don't change that. Change your Motex. Up a little bit. Let's see, that looks good. But I already made one recently, so I'm just I'm just gonna use this. Uh, when you add your mode text, make sure you change your cap to fill a cap. I'm pretty sure that's that's about right. Yeah, change one and one. It just it legit just makes it a little more clear. At least I would think it makes it a little more clear. And that's about it for Cinema 40. Now we're gonna jump into this render settings for this. Let me actually open up. This is the correct one. That's the right one. So open up our render settings. I'm going to output with the output. We have 3,000, 1,500, resolution 200. You just copy the settings if you want. Nothing big in, in these. Have these just on. You don't really have to change anything. It should come pretty fine. What we have to change is in the save area. You're going to choose where you want it to save output to. And we're also going to change it to uh, right there. So let's just do tutorial, save, and so we have a file location, change this to PNG, change this to 8-bit, I have it like that, I'm not sure what it does, but this is the most important thing, this is alpha channel right here, make sure you have it on, if you don't have it on, it will not render in PNG, it will not have a transparent background, and it will screw you over with how the imaging is, so make sure you have alpha channel on. 
Next, what we're going to do is we're going to just, if you click on this, it'll render the picture out in here. After it's rendered, it goes into, it should go into the folder when it's finished. It's going to render it real quick. Depending on your PC, it'll, it'll be how fast it'll go. And sometimes even projects, if you go more into Cinema 4D on your own and learn more things you could do with it, it's a very open software. You could, it'll, you'll find that it will take a longer do, more you do in the program. And I also forgot to mention, for our project, you need a control C, control V. Make a copy of your 3D layer. What you're going to do with the 3D layer is going to go to your object and change your depth to, I think, about 1. 0. Yeah, you change it to 0. This will make it a 2D object. So, no depth whatsoever. So then you render this back out. But you just change make sure you change the name, otherwise it will replace the image. So I'm going to turn 2D. Then we're going to render this image out. And once that image is rendered out, it you could pop both of them into the Photoshop, which we're going to go into right now. We're going to go into your position where we got our file. Reload it if you have it open. Now both of them pop up. We're going to oops. We're going to drag both of these onto it. Press OK. By doing this, make sure you have a 2D above the 3d it doesn't really do anything but if you look into it a 2d is easier to make masking for colors otherwise it just looks bad see if you do color let's just do gradient real quick and we put it over overlay and we press the t this and we do gradient it you can do more with your text because now you have the solid basic solid color and you have a 3d background it's, it's like a win-win you see okay and we want to get back into it so let's hop into our 3d text on our 3d text we're going to have our great overlay which i used it was just these two colors here's the hex link hex code do the hundred hex code if you want to try it right there and then now we're going to jump into it so you're just going to do that it's Solid 100. You don't have to change anything. Location 100. I don't have. You have linear on overlay opacity 100%. I'm gonna have negative 98. Next thing we're gonna do is pop on that drop shadow. The drop shadow just makes a nice effect behind it. The next thing we're gonna do is add some outer glow. We're gonna lower this down just a little bit. So now it has a little nice glow coming out of it. We might have to get rid of that. I forgot if I used it on it or not. Actually, this this effect is back. Effect will actually be good in some cases. It depends. See, it just adds a little nice thing if you want to add it. It's up to you. We're going to add some inner glow, which adds some nice light effect onto it. I'm going to lower down the opacity a little bit onto this. Next, we're going to add our bevel. Our bevel I have right now, I set up at 86, 78, 30, 90, 59, and 551. Smooth and inner. This will just, it just adds a little more flair to the object. And also, as you can see, it's going to add our little effect we have right here. You see how that's a little diamond effect? That's what this is going to do for us with what we have our different shapes. Now we're going to jump on to our 2D. Not, don't add a drop shadow on this one because it adds a little weird effect. I guess you could if you want, but I don't see the point. We're going to add our outer glow. We're going to add our gradient overlay. We're going to change this back to normal and lower the opacity down. Actually, no, I don't think it really matters. We're going to jump into our bevel. Bevel automatically do that. Do a gradient overlay. Lower down the opacity. Then we're going to add our stroke. If the stroke is not already in here, go to FX and you can click on stroke. And then what we're going to do for our stroke, we're just going to make a light color. we got to get our pink. I'm not sure why I can't. There it is. And we're going to raise it a little bit. I'm going to try to put it on the outside. Just like so. Now it has a little nice effect onto it. It's not, it's legit. It's honestly not that hard. Then we go back to our 3D text. Because we notice we have a sort of a stroke on the outside. So we're going to throw that on real quick. So we're going to add the same color as the stroke we already have. So let me zoom in to make sure. I can use the hex code, yes. But I did not. I don't remember it. <laughs> okay, that that will work. Then we're going to change this to about... Four, no, three. Three seems to work. 
Now you have now you have an outside stroke onto your image, and that's pretty much it. You have your text complete for this. You could go do multiple different ideas you could do with this text. Just mess around with your gradients, I guess. Even with just like without our bevel, you can make it into something cool, like a cool line text, or you can even add your own patterns onto it. So if we add our own pattern, it could it would look decent. Like it's honestly you could probably find get something cool going with it. You also can make your own patterns for it and you can upload it into it and it's pretty simple. But yeah, that'll be it. Actually I love I love that little effect with uh, the lines. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little text tutorial. The full video for the background will be in the next one coming out soon. Any questions whatsoever, make sure you leave it down in the comments. So I'll make sure to reply or make a video even about it. Make sure you check out the description on my, on my last video about the giveaway we're doing for 200 subscribers. If you don't know about it, check out that video. I'd say everything about it. But the link is in the description of this video too. I'll pin it in the comments for you to do. All you gotta do is click on it and... Follow what it says I don't want to see you cry <laughs> You don't have to feel this emptiness She said I love you till the day that I die well, Maybe she's right